What's going on guys, Kmon here. Today I'm gonna bring you an updated version of my TG deck. Uh, I'm still gonna be posting the duels. So to, uh, was it like the other day you're, you're gonna see like one of the other duels, but anyways, yeah. So after uh, discussing this with some friends, friends IRL and like looking like online, I decided to try out this new toolbox-esque build. So I don't know if I'm gonna put it in the thumbnail or not. I'm, I might, might not, but anyway, yeah, so. We're gonna get into it. So let's, I'm gonna show you guys the main extra and the side. Um, now that I've played this deck a lot more, I have a way better understanding of what I want to do and what I want to look for, et cetera, et cetera. So yeah, but I will admit, I am a little nervous about playing it this way because like, it's very different from like what, I'm, what I, I've gotten used to. So let's get right into it though. So first things first with the monsters. For the, for the TG monsters, obviously, Three Rocket Salamander, no questions asked. This is the, the best one to see in your in your opening hand if, if you don't see your toolbox stuff. So three Rocket Salamander, two Screw Serpent, also a really good one. Uh, the one Gear Zombie, the one Booster Raptor, the one Tank Grub, and the one Drill Fish. That's it for the TG Monsters. I'm only running nine, only nine. And like, that's where I'm nervous about. Cause I'm just like, yo, what if I need more? What if I don't, you know, et cetera, et cetera. But the other cards in this build will kind of make up for it. So it's kind of like a, you know, kind of make it or break it. I decided to just put these in for, for one else because like, yes, you want to use gear, gear zombie, like twice or, or just have two, but there has been many of times where I would open up with two of these guys. And two of these guys, they do nothing. He is very good because because he is, is a level one tuner. Like these two are, are the best ones to see opening hand because they're both level one tuners. But just opening up with like both of them is super bad in my opinion. So I think just one of each is super good. Plus you can recycle all of, of, of your, your TGs. Now for, for these two, right? I only wanted to play these two because they can summon themselves for free. You know what I mean? And like, even if you if, if you play two Booster Raptor, you, you can only summon one regardless. You know what I mean? Everything in here is searchable. Everything in here is, is recyclable. So it all depends on your play style. You gotta kind of play kind of, kind of slow slash conservative with some of the stuff that you do do in, in, in this deck. And uh, I've always played Fish at one anyways. You know what I mean? So it's like playing Fish at one doesn't do anything. Playing this at one won't do anything. Playing these two at one, just so you don't like open up with just, like opening up with just these two isn't the like worst thing ever. But before when I played both of these at two, there was times where I would open up with like two gear zombie and like spells that I couldn't do much with, you know what I mean? So like kind of cutting down on like what I do open up with can kind of help out a lot with this deck, if that makes any sense. Like this is still a, level one tool toolbox deck yes but just double gear zombie is just you can't do anything <laughs> you know what i mean i'm not sure if that's making a lot of sense or not i hope it is but yeah just yeah uh the only multiples one that i do want to see is just uh salamander and serpent serpent as part of of the the combo uh i wouldn't really play a serpent at three well you can play it at three if you really want to, but me, I like Serpent at just two. Like the whole Junk Synchron aspect is very good. You know what I mean? Just super good card. You know what I mean? But yeah, obviously three Rocket Salamander. Rocket Salamander can see any of these, all of them. So you'll always get them any, anytime you want to. The best thing about this deck is you want to fill up your graveyard as much as possible for your Dragner to go off and use the speeder effect. You know what I mean? So that's it for the TG, just those nine. Now for the engine, I'm trying it out. I'm trying out the DD uh, engine. So three Kepler and the one Lamia. Uh, so seeing Kepler is the is a one turn calamities. Now the reason why I say I'm nervous is because I'm so used to just playing a lot more of the of the TGs itself. But I'm kind of thinking I'm like yo like this right here this ratio might be the better ratio, just these nine, and then, and then everything else is just engine in, in this deck, you know what I mean? So yeah, you just, you literally, normal summon Kepler, Kepler, you'll search out your dark contract, 
activate your your dark contract and you'll search out your dd lamia you know what i mean and then single summon summon this out single summon these two make your 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 mighty striker and we all know mighty striker is full calamities combo if that makes sense so yes just i'm trying out this engine and so far it's definitely working just got to get used to not having as many tgs in, in the deck but even so that's not that bad of, of a thing in my opinion so i definitely recommend trying out this version of it because i think it's very strong because again remember one kepler is a singular um calamities lock combo so yeah because <laughs> it gets you to your mighty striker next is just hand traps i definitely toned down on the hand traps a little bit for more engines so we are running two ash this time two droll uh two dd crow two nib and the two imperm so i decided to to just go two 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 because before i was running like three three two 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 which in reality is not that bad of an idea but like uh you want to keep one in deck to stop things and one in hand to like actually play against your opponent so and i kind of like I, I don't mind this ratio and i decided to actually put in the dd crow because like dd crow hits everything this format every little thing it gets hit with with the dd crow like if you're fighting against the man the mana dm deck if they go scare claw rival you go you go dd crow banish their freaking target you know what i mean or you can banish their visas the visa star in the graveyard which don't that doesn't really do, do too much anymore because of the visa uh, samsara but yeah just i think these are the most impactful hand traps this format so it's like why not play them um i feel like i saw this like one build who was not like they were on like a lot of hand traps which is fine but the only issue i saw well not really issue but the only thing i didn't like was they weren't main deck and cross out um i still think you have to main deck cross out in this deck now um a comment i saw was um it's better to side this because it's like it's not good going second and it's like going for it's, it, it's only good going first and it's like they better have it on them you know like, like the hand trap which i understand that logic and mindset but it's like the fact that you're you're playing like all these cards that are just like uh like a like you're you're kepler this is this is this is your your, your normal summon you know what i mean and if if you don't have a tg in hand plus all clear your turn essentially ends if this gets impermed ashed or if if you get drilled you know what i mean so it's like i rather have something to defend my one card calamities combo you know what i mean and plus everyone is running hand traps everyone is running something to to stop you no matter what and i feel like if if this deck does get a little bit more popular over time then people pe like people will know oh i better stop that freaking card i better stop this i better nip here you know what i mean so i still like having the cross out designator in, in the main deck i probably will not take it out in my opinion because it has so much synergy bro i'm running so many hand traps that i i can use during your turn and my turn you know what i mean like ash blossom droll dd crow nib and imperm you know what i mean and everyone runs an algamation of these in some shape or form no matter what so this is always live uh i don't like the snake eye package because like you like nega card and whatnot and like it you don't play like enough non-engine because the cross out you know I mean? it's another story but anyways that's why i'm still rocking the uh the cross out if you don't like the cross out personally you don't have to run it but me personally i feel a lot safer running cross out because stopping the kepler feels very bad so like you know <laughs> that's it for those now for the for the tgs I, I am actually running three all clear before i was running two but now i'm running three all clear because all clear is literally your best extender in this deck free bro free you're so the reason why you are running your dd package and whatnot with with the lamnia is because you want to try to get to your mighty striker as soon as possible then once you get to this you get to all clear like that is the main goal of your all clear right and it's like this is your best extender so it's like I'm gonna play it at three because for one this is this is a rota 
So for one, you can Rota from the deck and the graveyard. So this card is super good. And getting that additional normal summon is extremely clutch, bro. So good. So it's like, I rather, listen, if I open up two of these, so be it. You know what I mean? That means I can bait out something for the Kepler effect. You know what I mean? And then stop the uh, minor striker. You know what I mean? Like if, if, if you're going to ash me, ash me. You know what I mean? And then I can just activate the all clear and then we're, we're good to go from there. But anyways, I think you should play this card at three because this is how you win you know what i mean why not play a card that's searchable and additional normal summon I, I i i get the whole like oh if i open up with two of them it feels bad bro i've opened up with double gear zombie before and that and i feel like that feels worse at least with this you have an option to search for any of your other tg monsters you know what i mean and additional normal summon also so so yeah three of these <laughs> i i like the card at three and then obviously three limiter removal. This searches out any of your, of your TG monsters. Remember, you only have nine, so kind of be careful of how you kind of cycle through it. But even then, it's like opening hand, this card is super good. Plus it's good in the graveyard too, like recycles back all your stuff in the graveyard too. So like this deck can never really run out of steam like that. I would not play this at two. I'd play it at three at always. Cause like, since you are playing a little bit less TGs and you're playing a lot more engine like your DD stuff, and and the and and the the hand traps there are times where you possibly won't see a tg monster so yeah this card at three is super good next i am still rocking the two thrust and the two talents i think this package is super super duper strong bro talents that can or thrust that can search this out for you is very important in my opinion because this can get you into talents and or your tg limiter removal which gets you in, into two other monsters which can get you into your toolbox calamities-esque cards you know what i mean and uh yeah get you into your imperm all that stuff so and talents are talents like these come up so often bro like it's such it's such like a good thing to run but if you don't want to run these well i definitely think you should definitely run talents but if you can't a fourth thrust there are other cards you can run you can run more hand trap you can run more tg stuff so don't think just because i i have thrust in here oh, i can't play play this deck now you can still play the deck i'm just trying to utilize this deck to its best ability so yep just these four for the one of us we are running the we are rocking the one one for one because this card is actually even more important now because of the kepler you know what i mean the one kepler uh, the one dark contract obviously search out your lambda lamia and or kepler so here's the thing if if, if you have lamia already in your hand search kepler and vice versa if you have kepler in your hand with this search search the uh, lambda you know what i mean so yeah like this card is never really dead you only you play it at one anyways and yeah and then obviously the one called by the grave and round off the one tg close because you dump this card to the river all the time anyways and uh yeah as it for the main deck that's solid 40 cards again it turns into more of a toolbox esque deck with the uh dd savantas kepler and whatnot but i think this is a good way to actually play this deck if you want to you know because like bro having just a one card i i i i freaking win button is crazy you know what i mean so plus it's funny because like you can like all right main phase one normal summit kepler kepler effect search right they'll dead ass think you were on DDD. <laughs> and then when you go, I right, secret summon to my striker, they're like, wait, what? You know what I mean? So I think this card is super good in here. Good engine, good engine. Uh for the extra deck, it's self-explanatory. It's what I'm liking the plague rock with, but uh the one trident, obviously. I don't really make, make this too often, but like I like having this in here on some like just in case. You know what I mean? Cause like there are times where you do actually need need to make this, you know what I mean? Trident is really, really good. So two one trident. Uh, the one dragonfly this does come up here and there for the combos so it's like why not play dragonfly it's not a bad card whatsoever so one dragonfly but if you if you do not want to play it i don't think this card is needed like that now that i'm playing this deck a lot more because like the boards that you you do end off with you don't really end off on dragonfly this can just help you get that extra draw with your tg you know what i mean 
because you can go summon TG, summon out a level five, have this on the field. Like you can go, you can summon out a Wonder Magician, pop a card on the field, use this, take it off, secret summon again, and summon out your Star Guardian, draw again, effect. You know what I mean? It's like that's why this card is here. It's pretty good for that though. So one of those, obviously one of the MVPs is two striker. Not one, I think two is just fine. This card is super good. You'll search out any and every one of your TG spell and trap cards. And then when it, hit, when it hits a graveyard, you can dump a TG card and then send it to graveyard. So it's like, yeah, striker, very, very, very important. And the fact that now you're playing three all clear, like you can literally use striker to bait out an imperm, bait out an ash, because once you start playing with this deck more, people will, will know, oh, I better hit striker. Striker is a good card to stop. There's only two cards that you really want to stop. So yeah. So yeah, two striker. And uh, for the fives, one star guardian and the one wonder magician. These these two can quick sync. Sorry, these three can quick synchro during your opponent's turn to keep that in mind. And these are your tuner synchro monsters. So yeah, star guardian is really good and one magician is really good too. Best card, obviously free. Two over Dragner. Uh, this is the best card. I wouldn't play this card at one, playing it at two is super good. You can recycle it too, but like playing it at two is just very, 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 very important. This is your speeder of the deck. Brings back everything from the graveyard. But again, if you use this card, you are locked into your TG monsters. So keep that in mind. Two of those. And uh, I am, I did put back in the, the Power Gladiator and obviously the one Librarian. Power Gladiator is actually very needed because it's for the combo. Because you do need that extra uh non tuner level five monster and it always felt bad when you had to summon out your second dragner for that you want to save your 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 your, your dragner for like the like grind game if, if that makes sense you know what i mean you don't want to just summon it for free to get rid of your stuff so that's why the uh, power uh, gladiator does come in for that because you me personally you only really summon him for that i mean if you want to go cheeky and like pierce your, your opponent for this for like time you can do that but nine times out of ten i'm summoning him just to, just to go summon him away just to make the big board like the big uh blade blade glav whatever you know stuff like that and then t hyper librarian hyper librarian that's it for the fives for the tens one baron and the one tg blade blaster that's it that's all you need i took out the TG Dragon, you never summon him. His, his effect is not that that good. Only thing he does is he, he stops attacks. If you did really want to play him, you can take out like the uh, Dragonfly for that if you really, really, really wanted to. It's like, but it's like, I don't think you really need to do all that. He only stops targeting from monster effects. Well, I guess it kind of does come up. Baron is, Baron is just super good because we summon Baron during your opponent's turn. So it's like, yeah, Baron is Baron, you know what I mean? <laughs> and now for the 12s, the one Crimson Dragon, the one King Calamity's Wild Dex Gut, and the one Glaive. And I actually ended up picking up the super cool Quarter Century Rare, so pretty happy I got it. Very cheap. I plan on blinging out this entire deck, so like Quarter Century, Quarter Century, Max, Ulti, all that stuff. I'm probably gonna do it, because like, this deck is cool, dude. I, I like this deck, this deck is nice and cute. And it's like, why not? It's all super cheap. So, yeah, these are the only 12s that you do need. Uh, in reality, like, you only really summon this if, if you're doing the other combo. But either then, it's still good to have in this deck to actually summon out your, your King Calamities. Uh, once this gets banned, because I feel like it's, it's going to get banned, the deck will change around a lot. I think it'll be playable still, but, like, just not having that insta win will be, like, enough. You know what I mean? But yeah, that is it. Extra deck. Now for the side deck. Uh, very straightforward, obviously. The one. Uh, the side deck. Um, don't judge it too much. This is just local stuff and whatnot. And stuff I'm kind of trying out, testing out, see how I like it. But uh, yeah, let's just get into it. Um, just, I'm actually rocking the three Gravekeepers uh, in inscription. This card is super good, bro. Uh, everything uses Graveyard this format. So it's like main phase one activate this now, now now your stuff is turned off and like depending on the matchup 
this can make or break a lot of decks. Like, if you're fighting against Tier Element, well, they're gone. Mana Diem can't do much in the graveyard either. Uh, the biggest thing for me is, like, Branded and, like, the Branded Ch Chimera deck. Turn off their, their uh, graveyard and they can't use their their um, their Mirror Knight and their Coatl in the graveyard. Well, they can use Mirror Knight to, like, turn this off, but it's like, you're going to trade that for this, which is fine with me. You know what I mean? So, I think this card is super good. Oh, oh it's good against, against Purely. During your turn, you activate this card, right? And now they can't get back stuff from the freaking graveyard. So like, like, like during during their turn, whatever. If that's how that works, I'm not sure. Very good against Unchained. So yeah, just three inscription. I think I think it's a pretty good card. This format. And uh, yeah, uh, three Dark Ruler. This card is still in here. Uh, you want to break boards in this deck because this deck has a hard time breaking boards. Like if you, if you have like a lot of monsters, just hit them with this. And then you're good to go. <laughs> uh, two Lightning Storm, the one Regeki, and the one Duster. Regeki is really good because, again, board break, board break, and back row, and back row. So why not play them? Uh, next. Three really match, and the, and the two Barrier. I'm not rocking three Barrier. Uh, I can. I can. You can take out, like... A, uh, a regeki if you really want to for the for the for the third barrier but this card is super good in here because this is the only card that does stop this entire deck and since we do main deck the uh, cross out anyways you know what i mean it's like they call d barrier call synchro you go cross out get get the card out of here you know what i mean but yeah man that's it for the tg updated toolbox deck hope you guys did enjoy it man make sure you do like comment subscribe let me know what you do think about this deck some of the changes that I did make, some that, that you did like, some that you didn't like, let me know because I want to improve this deck. What's, you know, just be be, be better, you know what I mean? I would definitely take it to, to like a regional if, if I wanted to, you know, or like um, all that stuff because like I think the deck is cool, it's cute, it's fun. So it's like, why not play it? But yeah, man, hope you guys enjoy, man. Have an awesome one. Peace.